a review and tutorial on the Too Faced 2016 holiday collection. It is called Christmas in New York. Now I just got one part of the collection. This is the Grand Hotel Cafe. It comes with three palettes and each are either scented with eggnog, peppermint mocha, or gingerbread. So basically what you get in here are three palettes. Each have six eyeshadow shades and then two of them have one blush shade and then the last one has a bronzer shade. So in Canada this retails for $62 and in America I believe it is $42 with a Canadian $350 value. So based off of hearing what you get and the value of this is really why I wanted to buy it aside from Too Faced being one of my favorite brands. I mean their eyeshadows in general are very good and I love their blushes and their bronzers so I thought I would try it out. Now I have tried the eyeshadows and the blush and the bronzer out because this makeup that I have on right now is the tutorial that I'll be showing at the end of the video. For the visual aspect, obviously Too Faced wins. I mean, they always do an amazing job. It's a little hotel with pink and I love that it's set in New York. So let's look what's inside the box. When you open the box up, there's actually, if I can open it, there's actually a little dollhouse in here. And the top comes off and then the front opens up. Uh, but before I show what's inside, uh, the packaging is the same on the front and then in the back it has a little Christmas tree. As usual, Too Faced includes a little pamphlet that gives a little description. So this just is a description of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and then it gives little ideas for uh, each palette and some eyeshadow looks that you can try out. So once we get into the actual packaging, I mean this is adorable if you wanted. You could put this on your vanity, you could put this anywhere, it's just cute and it is cardboard but it's pretty sturdy it doesn't feel light so if we go inside this little top comes off and then I love this the front opens up and then you have the mascara right at the bottom and then you have the three palettes I take the palettes out inside it says Grand Hotel Cafe and then it has a menu which lists the different names of the palettes so the three palettes look like this the first one's called eggnog latte the second is called Peppermint Mocha, and the third is called Gingerbread Cookie. Visually, obviously they're adorable, a lot of thought was put into the ideas, and on the back it says to and from. I guess if you did want to give these individually, I'm not giving these away. So I was going to swatch each palette and include it while I was talking about them, but my lighting was so bad that you could not see the swatches, so... There was no point in putting it. Each palette has its own color scheme going on. So Eggnog Latte is more neutral with, I believe this has the Peach Cobbler Blush. But then it also has a deep emerald green shade called Central Park. Has the classic Ice Coffee, which is like a bronzy brown shimmery shade. And then Eggnog Latte, which is a champagne shimmery shade. Nothing crazy. And then you have Cold Brew, which is a very shimmery brown. It is a brown with, yeah, silver flecks in it, which is actually really pretty. And then for the Peppermint Mocha palette, it is a pink theme. It has some pink in there. It has raspberry. This one, however, you only get two matte shades. So one is called Peppermint Cream, and it's our basically just a white shade and then candy cane is a pink shade so I feel like personally for me I would need more matte shades because these four are all shimmery and I don't like putting shimmer in the crease but for the tutorial I actually used multiple palettes in one look so I mean you're getting three palettes so you can use another palette it's not that hard to jump around so I guess that's what you can do if one matte shade isn't enough for you. And then lastly for the Gingerbread Cookie Palette. This has a little bit more of a dark theme. These two shades, however, seem like they're foiled eyeshadows. They really don't have a lot of payoff unless you use your finger, which is what I realized and what you'll see in the tutorial. 
but I really think these colors are gorgeous. You get a black in there, which most people like. You get another shimmery brown, and then you get a nice basic matte brown. So you can't go wrong. If you are of a darker skin tone, then this bronzer will have some limitations, but overall it did work for me. And the last part of the collection has the deluxe version of the Better Than Sex mascara. Nothing special here, just a really amazing mascara and a nice little addition to this collection. I can't remember how much I mentioned this in the tutorial, but I really found that these were extremely blendable. Like, I really did not have to put a lot of effort into it, which is what I really want when I'm doing eyeshadow. It already can take me like two hours to do an intense look, so I want something to be blending out nice and fast and easy, and these definitely are going to give you that. You can get so many different looks out of these palettes, you really can't go wrong. If you have tons of eyeshadows, you don't necessarily need these, but they are a cute addition to your collection. So I'm gonna stop rambling about these palettes and we're gonna head into the tutorial. So I know the idea is to use one palette for one eye look, but I'm going to try and incorporate all three, including the blushes and the bronzer, so I can kind of get an idea of each palette and see if the formula is consistent throughout. I've already primed my lids with the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer. The first palette I'm going to go into is the Eggnog Latte Palette, and I'm going to set my primer with the shade Frosty Nog. So when I first dip into the eyeshadow, there is a lot of excess powder that kind of floats around. So I would suggest tapping off the excess. For my transition shade, I'm going to go into the Gingerbread Cookie Palette and hop into the shade Ginger Cream. This shade is pretty light and it is pretty creamy, so it's close to my skin tone, so I can't really see if it's blending out perfectly because it is so close to my skin tone, but I have to say that it has created a really nice smooth canvas for the future colors that I'm gonna go in with. I'm gonna go back in with the Eggnog Latte palette and go into the shade Skinny Latte, which is a mid-tone brown. I'm going to take the shade Skinny Latte through my crease and in the outer corner to create a winged out shape. <laughs> So far, Frosty Nog, which was the shade that I set my primer with, was the only shade that had an extreme amount of powder kind of fly out when you dip your brush in it. It did give a really nice base, and the other shades are blending out really nice, which I'm honestly not surprised because Too Faced is an amazing brand. Next, I'm going to deepen the crease with the shade Maple Syrup from the Gingerbread Cookie Palette. <laughs> So maple syrup blended out extremely fast. Like I really did not put a lot of effort into blending that out and that is a darker shade. So I'm really impressed by it. Before I apply any glittery or sparkly shade onto my lid, I'm going to do a half cut crease using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. <laughs> shades from the peppermint mocha palette however I think I'm going to use two of the foil shadows at least that's what they look like ginger snap and winter dream winter dream is a really pretty pink and ginger snap is a goldy bronze shade I kind of want to see how these ones work they also are just really intriguing me so I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna see how they work just on their own with a flat shading brush, and then I'm also gonna see how they work with a bit of Fix Plus on my brush. So I'm going to take Winter Dream, and I'm going to apply it in the very outer corner and halfway through that cut crease that I created, and then the rest of the cut crease will be Ginger Snap. <laughs> pretty but I'm gonna try spraying some fix plus and see if it intensifies it anymore so I put some of the product directly on the brush so that did intensify it slightly it's not a super intense shade it is slightly sheared out I'm gonna see if ginger snap is the same way so that isn't as intense as I thought it would be but I'm gonna once again spray my brush not as intense as I want it to be. Like, they look so intense in 
the palette but I don't know maybe my finger will be better but this might not work out because of the cut crease I'm gonna try oh my god okay so I think these are meant to be applied with your finger I'm gonna jump off camera and do the rest of my face until I get to the part where I need to do bronzer and blush and then I'll see how those products perform. So I finished off my base makeup off camera, excluding my bronzer, my blush, because I'm going to go in with these palettes. I did go ahead and put Maple Syrup and Skinny Latte underneath my bottom lash line. And I put on Anastasia Beverly Hills' new liquid lipstick shade called Allison. So for bronzer, I'm going to go into the Gingerbread Cookie palette and go into, I think it's called Gingerbread. Now I'm pretty pale, so... This is a good test to see if it's going to work for fair skin. It seems to not be matte. It has like little gold flecks in it. So let's see how it applies. Applying my bronzer with my Morphe M527 brush. You definitely need to go in with a light hand with this bronzer. I think I actually went in with a little too much, but I still think it looks pretty nice. I mean, Personally, this is, it's not warm tone, but I feel like on my skin, if I look close enough, kind of pulls off a slight red undertone. And that might just be because I'm really used to cool toned bronzers like the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. But to be honest, I am really liking it. It does look a little like I bronzed and contoured my cheekbones, so can't go wrong with that. I mean, it's definitely not a natural bronzer, but this is a holiday collection, so who wears natural makeup during the holidays? As usual, I'm just going to bake underneath my bronzer to clean it up. I'm going to go in with my RCMA No Color Powder. So within these palettes, there's two different blush options to choose from. In the Eggnog Latte palette, there is Peach Cobbler, which is more peachy and then in the peppermint mocha palette there's santa baby which is a really pretty pink and because i haven't gone into the peppermint mocha palette i'm going to try out the blush i usually lean towards peach shades and this is a pink but we gotta try it i don't like a lot of blush and i feel like i went in with a lot for me i don't know how it's coming off on camera but I really actually really like this color. What I do like about this blush is that the color payoff is not too intense and it's not too sheer. I'll zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look. My final thoughts about these palettes is that I'm super impressed with them. To be honest, I'm not surprised. Too Faced is an amazing brand. They always bring out amazing products. I think that the price point is really great for three palettes and a deluxe size of the Better Than Sex mascara. If you're someone who's just starting out with eyeshadows, I think honestly this is a great investment because you can get so many different looks out of it from an everyday look to something a little more special. And even if you are someone who has lots of eyeshadows, I think that you get a lot of use out of these and they also smell amazing. If you can get your hands on this holiday collection, then I would 100% recommend it. If you did like this video, then I would love if you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It gives just like a little description of the mascara, and then it shows three different... Oh, I'm joking. Four different eye looks. Wait, what? So, once again, visually, the... Oh my god, I just dropped it.